Hi, I'm Nick Tuffley, ASB's Chief Economist. Now there's been a lot of talk at the moment about whether the economy is on the cusp of a slowdown or not. So I'll run through the key supports for the economy, some of the potential headwinds and what this all means for small businesses. First of all, the really important thing is the economic outlook in our view is actually pretty good. We're expecting growth to pick up to around 3% over 2019 after a softer patch since the middle of last year. The global economic environment is actually very respectable as long as we don't have any full-blown trade wars. Prices of many of our key exports are very high at the moment and that's delivering very strong incomes into provincial New Zealand. So exporters and businesses supporting export sectors are likely to find that activity levels remain very high for some time. And the slightly weaker New Zealand dollar, particularly against the US dollar, will help our exporters as well. For retailers, strong employment growth, high minimum wages, added working for family support are all putting money into the back pockets of consumers. Admittedly, fuel prices are still taking some of that away, but it still leaves a lot of cash left over. The cautionary tale for retailers though is online shopping is here to stay, so it's going to become very important to differentiate your value. And there are further supports for the economy. Interest rates will stay low well into next year and the government is adding further stimulus as well. House building will pick up after an election lull and Kerry Build will reinforce that up momentum. And yes, there are headwinds. The large scale construction sector is beset with problems at the moment. Globally, trade tensions are rising and it's unclear exactly what sort of disruption that will cause. Domestic business confidence has been very low since the election. Now some of that will be a reaction to the change of government, some of it will be around uncertainty over its policies, some will be around things like concern over cost increases. But the longer the business confidence remains low, the more risk there is that businesses put off decisions and that low business confidence becomes self-fulfilling. With all this noise in the background, it's really important to understand what actually does influence your business. What ones can you control? What ones can you leverage? What ones can you mitigate if they're negative? And above all, keep on top of your business numbers so you can gauge whether you're facing tailwinds or a headwind. All the best.